I'll never forget seeing the whole side of the building missing. And you could see the open floors and, and certainly the crumbling of the building itself. We weren't sure, you know, who was attacking our city. The governor and I and the members of Congress walked down from several blocks through to the Murrah building. And I can still remember the debris on the street. There were lots of things on the street, whether it was car parts, there was building rubble, even branches of trees, leaves that were all over. And, and I can still remember glass and, and walking on this and it crunching. It was just so surreal as we were blocks away. It was uh, a very busy time. I will say that everybody was calm, but yet in control, immediately making decisions. The biggest thing I saw was everybody sitting down and saying, okay, let's, let's figure out what the immediate need is now. Governor Keating and I had been on the job 101 days, so it was my first time to be in a statewide elected office, his first time also. So we had probably double, triple the workload that you would normally have because we also had tremendous national and international media focused on Oklahoma that was here day and night. We wanted to paint Oklahoma in the very best light because it wasn't particularly a good light for us to have that type of tragedy in our state. But I do think the response that not only the governor gave, Governor Keating, all those associated with the first response with our investigative side, certainly our charities, just the, the citizens that came from all across Oklahoma. There were so many great stories. Princess Fergie came in and, and worked with us to help raise money for our children in Oklahoma. She visited the site. I escorted her around, I don't know, maybe four or five times. The one project that I took hold of um, to help with was organizing a committee to rebuild the daycare center, the, the YMCA daycare center that was lost downtown. We had so much interest from people wanting to give money to help rebuild uh, the downtown uh, child care center. Of course, two of them were damaged in the bombing, and the Gaylords were very generous to work with us downtown on a site, and we built a beautiful new child care center. It's important to always be diligent. There are people who don't appreciate the freedoms and the liberties that we enjoy in this great nation and that we should never take it for granted. And certainly the memorial is a beautiful place for reflection upon the Oklahomans that lost their lives to pay tribute to them. The museum is a very important piece of that also because we don't want to forget what happened. We don't want to forget the lives that were lost or the, and the families. And we don't want to forget the tremendous response. One of the biggest lessons I've learned is how important it is when you're in a leadership position to be prepared. I think Oklahoma really contributed a lot to the nation to show people how important it is that you have a plan, that you work well together, that you collaborate in all forms of, of government and we have an excellent system in Oklahoma. We've, we've been showcased as a model for states when it comes to hand, handling emergencies. And what was so interesting about that day, and, and being a person of faith, this really stuck with me, was how God had his hand in Oklahoma on April 19th to have over a thousand people downtown praying for our state and our leadership and to know that less than a couple of hours away we would have one of the biggest, most challenging, tragic events upon our faith in our state and how God had already prepared the way by having that prayer service that morning. It was uh, moving to see, like I said, something good come out of evil.